For one, your final here at Cops Coliseum, the Hamilton Bulldogs over the Lake Erie Monsters. Laura Barney here with Derek Wills, and as always, Derek, we'll get your thoughts, but not sure where to start with this one because the first period was the key for the Hamilton Bulldogs, yet it wasn't the greatest period of hockey they played. Well, that's for sure. The first 19 minutes of the first period were absolutely dominated by the Lake Erie Monsters, who took a one to nothing lead, probably should have had a larger lead, but Dustin Tokarski, as he's done so many times for the Hamilton Bulldogs this season, makes the saves to keep his team in the hockey game. And then suddenly in the final minute, they scored two goals to take a 2-1 lead, and then they get a power play to start the, the second period. I mean, the game changed in the span of about 60 seconds. Second period, I thought, was a back-and-forth battle. Neither team did much in that middle stanza, but then the Hamilton Bulldogs really took over in the third period, and you got to give them credit. Things were not going their way early. They had to battle through some adversity. They did that and picked up two huge points against the Lake Erie Monsters team that's been tough for them to beat over the years. Now, how about the play of Patrick Holland coming out in that third period and getting two goals after being out for a while with injury? It's nice to see him step out and do what he needs to do. Yeah, the Hamilton Bulldogs uh, have lacked goal scorers the last few years, so getting a guy back like Patrick Holland, who's a proven offensive player, is going to help this hockey club. But even I was surprised. Uh, after watching him practice this week, he seemed to be favoring his foot, which has been giving him some trouble. It forced him to miss nine games. He, he's forced back in action tonight because Justin Cortnell and Steve Quetter were injured in last night's game, so he gets thrown into the fire, so to speak, comes out and scores two huge goals to put this game away in the third period, and really goal scorers goals, both beautiful shots, and Patrick Holland is a guy who's going to help the Hamilton Bulldogs win a hot, lot of hockey games moving forward. He's a very talented player, and he gives them some depth as far as scoring goes on those top two lines, and uh, they could use some of that depth with uh, the injuries they've got right now. All right, Derek, well, thank you very much for your thoughts as always, and we're going to see what our coaches and players had to say. We definitely gave them the momentum at the start of the game and uh, gave them a couple easy uh, power plays there, but luckily we killed them and uh, we uh, sealed the momentum back at the end of the first period. We struggled a little bit in the first period, obviously, with the three penalties. It was difficult to get the momentum, but uh, with the PK, they did a fantastic job. And, uh, of course, uh, the goalie uh, was solid. So after that, uh, starting the second period, we seemed to get the momentum to get our offense going. And at the end, we ended up playing a solid hockey game. And uh, we are very happy because we had to bounce back after the losses against uh, the Marlies. It seems like we struggled a little bit lately to build our offense. It seems like we were not uh, playing together. And when we were able to find that confidence in the second period, the momentum just built up. And from there, we were uh, solid. We spent a lot of time in the offensive zone, uh, uh, building some offense, creating some scoring chances. And this is the way we want to play the game, and we are certainly capable of, but we need to do it on a regular basis and not be tentative at times like we were in the first period. We had to bounce back and the players felt, I think, a little bit of pressure, but their response uh, pretty good. And sometimes you don't have to say too much. You want your players to respond naturally. And I think that's what they did. They came together and uh, we had a solid performance by a, a leader tonight. And it shows when those leaders come on the ice and shift after shift uh, have solid performance. I thinking about uh, especially uh, Duman's line, uh, they scored two goals on the same shift and at, after that it seems that the bench uh, woke up and everybody wanted to follow those leaders.